All right, what is going on, my dudes? We're back here today with the newest champion entering MCOC. We have Viv Vision. Now, Viv is quite an interesting character. I think we can start out this video by saying if you don't play Battlegrounds or Alliance War, you're probably not gonna like her damage too much. So, the thing with Viv is she does a lot of really interesting things with phasing and power control mechanics, and because of that, she's balanced in a way Funny enough, balance in a way to do really well in the game modes where the champions should be the most balanced, right? Uh, the competitive game modes where you're going head to head one versus one, right? Um, but yeah, so she really taps out around like that 225-ish thousand health pool, which you're not going to really find anything too much higher than that in Battlegrounds or Alliance War, usually outside of the mini bosses, right? So she fits really nicely in that pocket. But once you start going to like, you know, 400,000 or 500,000 Winter Soldier type health pools, she starts to feel a little bit underwhelming while she feels fantastic in those shorter health pools. Now, keep in mind, okay, that's also going to be the, the health pool size for event quests, for, for side quests. Event quest health pools keep going up, uh, so maybe not Throne Breaker in the later uh, chapters, but for side quests and whatnot, she's going to be able to roll right through that as well. But she's very interesting, has a decent amount of utility, and can do some fun things. So let's talk about how she works today. So she's a robot, right? She's immune to bleed and poison. Fantastic. You love to see it. On top of that, she's also immune to nullify and fate seal. That's always great, right? That's right away going to make her an option for buffet, power snacks, stuff like that, right? Because she's pretty much always going to have that armor up off uh, throughout the majority of the fight there. Also, immune to fate seal is great. It means she could fight like, you know, long shot very easily and other champions as well, okay? She starts each fight with 16 indefinite armor up buffs, right? And when they go away, they restore themselves one every 10 seconds. Now, she's going to be very annoying on defense, okay? She's going to be a very solid dual-use champion. She's not going to be doing damage to you when she does this, but every medium or light attack that strikes Viv, she uh, power drains 6% of the opponent's current power. That's quite a bit. It's going to make getting to that special one a lot longer and once you get there you're going to be draining all your power quite a bit okay so uh definitely going to be a little bit annoying so there might be some cosmic champions wink wink that you might want to use against her okay so she has a mechanic called solar energy okay now the solar energy that she has goes up on its own every four seconds she gains one and it maxes out at five okay now you can get more than five from her special two but we'll get to that now you consume these solar energies with a light ending combo or a medium ending combo the medium ending combo is going to be a heal block on the opponent and the light ending combo is going to put a suppression on the opponent okay now these are tuned in just a way where you can control the opponent's power and not really have to worry about baiting their specials too much where they really won't be getting close to a special three unless they have passive power game that's why it's at 32 percent suppression uh, and all that other fun stuff right so the uh suppression debuff is paused when you're not attacking the opponent the heal block is paused when you are attacking the opponent and they're both paused during special attacks now she phases okay when vivid performer well time block she has a 125 percent chance to gain a phase passive hey domino for one second causing the incoming attack to miss all right this ability can't be used until viv consumes solar energy with her medium or heavy attack a medium or light attack, but also with her heavy attack as well. But we'll get to that. Now, when attack misses Viv, she instantly drains 30% of their power. Their that's 30% of their whole power. So if they're at like around three bars of power, right, and you do a, a, a phase thingy, you're going to gain a lot of their power. Now, this can only happen once every time she phases, though. Keep that in mind. Even though you can miss like two to three hits, but you only drain once. For the heavy attack, the first hit removes up to three prowess on the opponent. And if any prowess was removed that way, Viv is going to gain one solar energy. Now, the final hit consumes one solar energy to inflict a burst of damage increased by 33% for each prowess removed by the first hit. So if the opponent has a lot of prowess, you can take advantage of that for some extra damage, okay? Now we'll talk about the special two first because that's the order you want to go in. So on activation, she converts three of her armor up buffs into solar energy and tapping the block input, it slows down time. Just before a hit converts up to three personal armor ups into solar energy and deals a burst of damage multiplied for each prior burst, okay? So... Basically, the rotation you want to do is you want to do phase, right? Not parry, because in parry, you phase, and you want to do a light ending combo, a five hit combo. And the reason why you want to do that is because her sig ability is very important for her damage. Um, 
First and foremost, while you have more than five solar energy, the amount of power gained from consuming it is increased. Okay, but also completing a five pit combo, it inflicts a dormant energy vulnerability, maxing out at five stacks. And then each hit of Viv's special one replaces one of those dormant energy vulnerabilities with an energy vulnerability debuff, reducing their energy resistance by a decent amount for 15 seconds, okay? So you wanna do that phase five hit combo to consume one solar energy and place that dormant icon on the opponent gain another phase passive that way, and then repeat the process up to special two. Use your special two, and then you want to tap the block input when the time is slowed down right before you hit the opponent. And then you want to get above one bar of power while the opponent is below one bar of power because while the opponent has less than one bar of power, this attack is passively unblockable and generates no power for the opponent, okay? There's no cooldown on this unless you get hit by a special two or special three. So what you do is you throw three special ones in a row once you get there and they don't gain power, right? And they don't do anything about it and they die if you're using her in the right scenario. Each hit consumes one solar energy. You should have 14 or 15 at this point to inflict an instant incinerate dealing 5,000 plus energy damage. Against mutants, you do a plasma instead, okay? Now, the special three, I don't use it, um, but you gain an indefinite non-stacking fury buff, increasing attack rating by around 900. So this could be good for those longer fights, but you're just not gonna wanna use her in those longer fights straight up. You're not gonna enjoy using her in those longer fights. And I'll show you a longer fight. Um, now, while this buff is active, Viv has plus 75% ability accuracy and immunity to reverse controls. Cool. If you need those reverse control immunities, let's say you're fighting the Grandmaster with her, probably not the best option for the Grandmaster, but just throwing it out there, that sort of thing where you need those reverse controls, man. Maybe that could be good for like Nameless Thanos in Eternity of Pain. She is a robot for the robot objective. You could rinse off about 200,000 health. A little bit more you go in. I mean, that's a fight that you use revives on, right? So who knows? Maybe she could be good for that with the special three. You never really know. We'll have to do some testing on that. She is a robot. Going forward, those Karina's volume three are going to be relevant for quite a bit with that four to five gem. So I have to keep that in mind when we're uh, testing these new champions. But anyway, that's how she works. That's how she works, okay? And I feel like uh, she's uh, she seems more complicated than she is. Let's go ahead and look at our Deadpool fight here, okay? This is a rank four, no suicides here. So right away, I parried and I got the phase. Now I did a light ending combo for the suppression and I'm going to repeat. Now, by the freaking way, if you run Tech Collar, you're gonna love this champion because they're really never gonna get to a bar of power. So her power control is very interesting. Most people don't run Collar Tech, so I'm not going to be using that here for this you know that demonstration just keep that in mind that if you happen to have it to punch 299 or, or ant-man or ghost or other tech champions who benefit she really benefits from that mastery quite a bit especially for battlegrounds and alliance where you could stay super duper aggressive okay so um yeah here we go Right here, see, he was above a bar of power and we drained him to like 75% of one bar, right? Now he threw a special one, that's fine. You know, you base special attacks with almost every other champion except for Quake. Here we're slowing down time, you see this? We're gonna be tapping the block right before we hit every single time. Now at this point, we're gonna get up to a special one and we're going to actually heal block him because why not? And now the special ones are going to go crazy, all right? It's doing about A lot. It's doing a lot, man. It's doing it's doing at least 50,000 damage on the special one. So you throw three of them, right? So it's about 150,000 just from the three special ones. Then you got the special two damage. And if you burst every time, you get the burst that increases each way. And plus, you have all the basic kits going up to special two. So when it comes to Battlegrounds, Alliance, more health pools, she, she's got the damage for that. Um, probably not in class disadvantage. I probably wouldn't want to use her against like a big cosmic champion probably um maybe she could just squeak by if you're a higher rank like if you're a rank four they're a rank three possibly um but against like mutant champions like you're gonna want to use her against mutant champions realistically you're gonna want to take her in against apocalypse you want to take her in against uh you know uh, maybe toad you know maybe you want to take her because you can remove the prowess take her in against sauron uh who else is annoying take her in against kitty pride you know she's gonna have a really good time against those champions sinister 
Havoc could be okay, but he does have that energy resistance, but you got the armor up and it's plasma on the special one. So yeah, that's who you want to fight in Battlegrounds with her. Of course, in Battlegrounds, it's the luck of the draw and everything, but I feel like her use in Alliance War is going to be based on that. You know, if there's an apocalypse on Power Snack, she's going to be freaking great for it, you know, stuff like that. So um, here is actually rank four Viv with Suicides on against Winter Soldier. So I did the fight initially without the suicides on and I was like, man, this is just like, I want to break my phone in half, right? So this is not the fight that you want to use her on, right? She's for those shorter fights, you know, side quests, uh, maybe some event quests. You want to do, you know, Alliance War fights. You want to do Battlegrounds fights. That's what she's made for, okay? She's not made to take down Winter Soldier. I'm just showing you the damage really for the longer fights. Now with suicides, it's kind of decent, but keep in mind, she isn't the most suicide friendly champion in the entire game, in my opinion, because she wants to spam these special attacks like it is her job. All right. So here we go. We're going to go for the special one here in just a moment. And yeah, the thing is, it does a lot more damage with the suicides on because her damage doesn't scale just with base attack. All right. So here we take a lot of recoil, you know? But he's down to 43% health. Not bad, right? That's, what is that? That's about, uh, she has like two, 550,000, so it's close to 300,000 health. Really not too bad, right? Um, but just keep in mind, again, not the most suicide friendly champ in the entire game. If you're using her for like one or two Alliance War fights and you're running, you know, suicides with Omega Red or, or, or Corvus or Hercules, right? I'd say leave him on. She's a robot. She's immune to bleed. She's immune to poison. It's going to heavily increase her damage output, right? So the suicides aren't going to kill you in war. It just, it just costs you a few more potions, you know? But personally, I'd probably leave it on if there's one to two fights, but take it off there's like nine fights but she doesn't seem like that kind of champion to me anyway now here's the issue here's the issue for the longer fights right as you can see i have four armor up buffs right at this point they come back one at a time every 10 seconds what i've always felt like she was kind of missing is like a special three gains 10 armor up buffs to like kind of replenish it would still need to go for a special three to replenish but here as you can see what we're going to do here is, you know, I could go for a special three, wait it out, gain the fury buff. But what I'm doing instead is I'm kind of letting that solar energy, solar flare come back every four seconds until I have four or five of them. while also letting the armor ups come back, you know, and what this is doing is I'm going to be able to convert those armor ups now into solar energy. So I have 12. OK, not too bad. I have to do one more uh, five head combo here so I can get one more dormant energy vulnerability. Bam, we got the five. We're gonna bait out the special one from Winter Soldier. There we go. And keep in mind, I can go for another special two if I want to, but this is going to just about finish him off, right? I'm gonna be able to get two more special ones and that's gonna be it. So yeah, uh, underwhelming in the, in the longer fights, right? But that's the thing. I mean, she's not meant for the longer fight. She's she's meant to do this in battlegrounds and alliance war i mean this is deadpool down in two out of the three special ones so we're able to do one more fifty thousand plus damage special one right so on top of that right that's her damage that's her rotation um solid lots of control over the fight lots of control of the fight if you mess up and you get hit guess what you're gonna drain their power that's great right so you never really have to worry about her getting hit and pushing the opponent to special three, which happens every now and then, right? You drain 6% of their power on the medium and light attacks. It's, it's, that's a nice fail safe there, actually, you know? So up next, didn't do that little, the, a little bit of a utility matchup showcase here. So we got to APOC, go for a heavy attack, remove that prowess right away, right? That's really nice. Now, her phase is not only for basic attacks, right? What we could do here is we can push APOC up to a special one. We can bait it out, right? And we can kind of do this kind of thing right over here. Bam, right through it. Drain his power a little bit, right? Gain a little power back, go for a special two. Now watch how the burst damage on the special two goes up on each hit, right? That's nice. That's definitely nice. So of course, these are just duels. They don't mean anything. The, the health pool is very low. Just showing you how against the mutant class, she has stuff to counter them, which is which is important. You know, the class feels important. A class advantage, in battlegrounds when you want to go fast right you want to take typically you want to use you want to use a tech champion for the mutants right she's gonna be good for them she goes fast you know i think she's gonna excel in battlegrounds 
I think she'll be okay in war. I think she'll be better than okay in war. I think she won't be used too often in like uh, um, story quests and stuff like that. But I think she might be used in like side quests and event quests quite a bit. Now, she can phase Domino every time because she's got that 125% chance to do so. I don't even know what she's crit failing, dude. Like she's crit failing me. Couldn't even tell you what she's crit failing. Like, what, like I went for the special too. I'm crit failing on every single one. <laughs> Whatever, man. But yeah, we could phase through the special too if we want to. Is she better than most champions for Domino? I guess. I wouldn't really recommend it, but if you don't have another option, she could be okay, right? So Kitty Pride she'll be really good for because she has a very easy access to remove that prowess, right? So if it gets too high like this, right, you can go ahead and just get rid of it. Bam! Don't really have to worry about um, her, her getting too high, phasing on you, right? All that fun stuff. Now, of course, she isn't Nimrod. She isn't Immortal, I, I mean, uh, Infamous Iron Man when it comes to countering prowess and all that fun stuff, but... It's definitely pretty solid that she uses it for the momentum of the prowess of the defender against them. So here you can actually parry, right, against Kitty Pride here. See how we drained her power? You can parry to purposefully give her the prowess so you can continually do the burst damage, which is nice, which is a decent way to ramp her up. But then you don't get the dormant energy vulnerability, so you still do want to do the five hit combos. Now a champion like Sauron, for example, has so much prowess and also has um, a lot of regen. So you can go ahead, get rid of that regen. He dexed, he dexed my heavy. But there we go, right? Remove some of that prowess, right? If you get him in the corner, you can chain the prowess or you can chain the heavy attacks, get rid of multiple prowess at once, right? It's great. Good stuff against Sauron for sure, right? Who came out with Sauron? That was that beautiful man, Toad, right? Toad does very similar things. He regens, he does poisons or immune to the poisons. Now, when you're immune to a poison, right? From Toad's stick ability, what he's going to do, he's going to put that, that prowess on himself. But guess what? We can get rid of that. So he's a she's a very good option for Toad, actually she heal blocks him she removes his prowess to remove the majority of his defensive threat so very very solid option for toad who really does want a specific counter you know um now the thing is great for mutants right but not just for mutants because also you can do stuff like this man you can do stuff like that right through a special two right go for the special two of your own we're all ramped up now right here comes a special one we're gonna go ahead and just do that right we're we're immune to nullify don't have to worry about the shock the shock from earlier was from a stagger we're not immune to stagger and here bam right nice stuff good stuff man so she's gonna be a very solid attacker for for certain things for certain things for sure i mean the nullify immunity is great it's really really solid it opens up the door to a lot of different things make her good for like man thing for example right you know good stuff so also on defense like i was saying man watch zemo's power bar also zemo love him favorite champion in the game right now but <laughs> yeah look at zemo's power bar man the more power you gain the more you drain come on man it's annoying. And then she does this and she's unblockable, right? So, oh my goodness gracious. And look, she has her power still. She gets it back. That jerk face if she has the solar flare, right? So, yeah. Um, the thing is now, the medium and the lights, that happens, right? You can dex this all, by the way. Um, I, I feel like I've, this is the first time I've ever fought her. So I don't, I don't know how to dex it yet. But <laughs> the heavy attacks don't have your power drained. So you want to use your heavy attacks against her right? Or you want to use your power drain immune champions, or if you want to laugh every second that you do it, you do this and you go in with Gallon and look at his mess. This is literally without a doubt, not an exaggeration, the best matchup in the entire game by a lot. It's better than Torch versus Mephisto. It's better than Archangel versus, I don't know, ridiculous. That's no nodes. She power drains on light and mediums while Gallon exists. That is ridiculous. More of a gallon problem than a Viv problem. However, oh my god. So that's Viv. Uh, she's certainly quite cool, man. Again, you know, if you care about Battlegrounds or Alliance 4, which personally I do, this may be a champion that you're into. If you don't, and you really only play like, you know, the story quests or event quests, she might not be your favorite champion to use in there, just because of that. Also on top of uh, all of that stuff, 
her phasing does take a minute to get used to. Just keep that in mind. So the first time you play her, she might feel a little wonky because you go to parry, but instead she phases and then you're like, what's going on? Then you get hit and then you're like, oh, okay, that was weird, right? That happens. That's definitely gonna happen. It even happened to me the first time I used her. Um, so just keep that in mind. But once you play her quite a bit, you get a rotation down, which has a lot of very strong control over the fight, a lot of very decent utility. She's a very solid defender as well. She's gonna be a very solid dual use champion for Battlegrounds, I believe. But um, I don't think she's going to be for everybody. And I think that's very important to realize that not every champion has to be for everybody, right? Um, she has a, a very high skill cap, in my opinion. She's up there. She's up there with uh, some of the harder to use champions, in my opinion. So it's not going to be for everybody. There's people aren't going to enjoy playing her and that's totally okay. Um, but she's she's fun to use. She's very effective if you master her, if you spend some time getting used to her. She can be very good for you if you are into the things that she does, if you're into her play style. If you don't like her play style, don't even worry about it. 24 champs are released every year. Not every champ is going to be for everybody. All right, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, drop your boy a big old like. Let me know what you think about Viv in the comment section below. And make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss Kate Bishop coming out in like two weeks. I don't know. Probably in two weeks, I would imagine. Right? Four weeks in the month, two champs a month. It only makes sense. I'll be seeing you around.